Hey, what's up, you guys? I feel like it's been seriously forever since I have made a video. Um, I'm in my dorm room now, and uh, my roommate went home for the weekend, so I figured why not crank out a few videos so if you see me looking similar, that's probably why. Uh, my roommate this year is, like, kind of more on the quiet side, so I haven't really informed her about my YouTube stuff, so that explains why my videos from here on out are going to be more sporadically filmed, uh, so I apologize in advance for maybe possibly a lack of videos um, happening. But anyway, uh, this is a review video slash first impression-y kind of thing on the new palette from Wet n Wild. Uh, they're, they have, I think, four new palettes like this uh, for fall 2014, uh, as, as well as some nail polishes, and I believe there's going to be some matte lip colors, uh, which I tried to get my hands on. I have this palette from the collection. I have two polishes that I just bought today, so I haven't actually tried them yet. Um, and I have yet to get my hands on the lipsticks. They look beautiful, and they're matte lipsticks. The polishes are matte, and there's beautiful palettes. But the review today is on this 5-pan palette uh, called Smoke and Melrose. So this is what it looks like. I used it today for the look that I'm wearing on my eyes, which I'm super in love with, and I don't usually... You know, I'm not usually that crazy about Wet n Wild stuff in general, so this was like a really big surprise for me. Um, like I said before, I'm not really that experienced with Wet n Wild, especially in their eyeshadows. Um, I do have the Comfort Zone palette, and I do have um, the Silent Treatment trio, but they're not palettes and the trio that I reach for often. So I don't really have experience in, you know, how the textures and things of that nature are. I can say that from the one time that I've used this palette on my eyes, I'm in love with it. And I definitely think that you guys should check out this palette. If the other palettes are any, like, indication, or if this palette is any indication of how the other palettes are, I definitely recommend going and checking them out. I was going to get another one, but they had, like, one left, and it was the palette that I wasn't really that interested in. So anyway, let me get into talking about this. Uh, this is the Smoke and Melrose palette, like I said before. It looks like this. There's a lot of rose goldy, you know, shades in it. As usual, it comes with a little brush and a little sponge tip applicator, which I usually throw away, but I kept, you know, in order for this video. Um, but the cool thing about this palette in particular, I think there's another one, too, that kind of fits in with this, but this one in particular is almost a straight-up dupe for some of the shades in the Naked 3 palette. Um, so if you have been curious and wanting to try the Naked 3, but you're like, it's $54, that's crazy, definitely pick up the Smoke and Melrose palette out of the four that are available. So let me t talk to you about the shades. Um, what I have on my eyes today, I took this color called the Crease shade. That's kind of cool about these, that they have kind of the indicators of where you're supposed to use these. Whether or not I follow that is another story, but if you're new to eyeshadow, you know, this is something cool that you can have to help you out. Um, so what I used today, I used this crease shade on my lid. And that looks like that. I don't know if you can really tell because the lighting is kind of insanely bright. Um, but this shade reminds me of the Naked 3 color Trick, which is one of my favorite shades out of this palette. It's this kind of bronzy gold shade right there. Um, so, I mean, let me swatch them side by side. So this one here is the Wet n Wild shade, and this one here is the Urban Decay shade. So as you can see, they are kind of similar in the fact they're both like bronzy, kind of neutrally shades. You know, the one from Urban Decay has a little more 
glitter, I think, in it, or like shimmery chunks. I don't know. That sounds terrible when you're talking about eyeshadow, but I don't know. It's still one of my favorite shades in the palette. So I have that color on my lid, and then I went in with this color called Eyelid. So it looks like that, and this color is just kind of a rosy taupe shade. And this color reminds me of the color Factory from the Naked 3, which is on my pinky. So this is the Wet n Wild color, and this is the Urban K color on my pinky. So I'll swatch those side by side. So this one here is the Urban... Wait. Yeah, this one here is the Urban Decay shade right here. And the one farther down is from Wet n Wild. Uh, the colors are somewhat similar. I would say that maybe the Urban Decay one is just a tad darker. But even still, there is a somewhat lighter shade called Liar in this palette. So, I mean, between the two, you're bound to get something totally similar to the eyelid one in this palette. The one that I found the most similar is this brow bone shade. Um, actually, this and the eyelid shade are what I kind of have somewhat in my crease. Um, and the brow bone shade reminds me exactly of Nooner from Urban Decay. So that's this one here. It's just a matte kind of mauve like matte mauve pink shade um, and this is what the color looks like from Wet n Wild I don't know if you can, again, I don't know if you can really tell um, but that's what the color looks like from Wet n Wild and let me just pick up Nooner so that's a side by side, I, again the lighting is like uh, but there they are swatched out next to each other this one is from Wet n Wild, and then the smaller of the two is from Urban Decay. So as you can see, they're almost identical. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> and then I have, okay, so I have crease on my lid, eyelid, and brow bone in my crease, and I took this definer shade, which is the one in the middle, and put that, you know, also in my crease. That's the one shade that I don't think that there's an exact dupe for in the Naked 3. Um, I read some blogs that they were comparing it to Blackheart, Black Heart, which is the darkest shade in the Naked 3, and I don't think that's correct at all because the definer shade is more of a red toned, whereas Blackheart is more black. Um, so I don't think that that's you know, the one shade that doesn't really have an exact dupe. Um, and then I took the base shade and applied it to my inner corner and brow highlight. And the base shade, I think, is somewhat similar to if you took Strange and Dust, which are the two lightest shades, and mixed them together. Um, and it's it's got a... It's got a... Yeah, it's shimmery, kind of. It's almost got like a satin, shimmery kind of texture, uh, which almost kind of reminds me of either Burnout and Limit, too, so the base shade is kind of, you know, a mixture of these four shades here, so, but either way, I think this is a really good bargain, because, you know, this is, what, $3.99, and the Urban Decay palette is, like, $54, so, I mean, take your pick, I mean, I have both, but <laughs> I got this for Christmas, it wasn't $54 out of my pocket, but still, so, if you're curious to see how rose gold colors look on your lids, you know, this is something that you might want to try and hunt down and, you know, get your hands on. Uh, they do, like I said, they do have other palettes. I believe they have, like, a bluish toned one. They have one with a more, like, darker pink, and gray, and black kind of theme going on. And then they also have one that's a little bit darker than this, but I was... Read, on the blog I was reading, it has more colors that can be comparable to Naked 3. It was like this one and then the other quad. So, I mean, if you see them, pick up both and then you're set, right? Um, but the textures, you know, are really blendable. And, I mean, Wet n Wild has a reputation for having really good eyeshadows for really inexpensive. So, I mean, it's, it's good stuff. Uh, so if you see it, pick it up. 
it's definitely worth the $3.99, and I'm already, like, in love with this palette. Um, when I bought this, I picked up another shade from Wet n Wild, and I'm already loving that as well, just from swatching it. Uh, this is Nutty, which apparently is, like, a cult classic color. Uh, but we're not talking about this. We're talking about this. And I definitely recommend it. That's my review. It's ten minutes long. Crazy. Uh, if you like this review, leave it a thumbs up and let me know down below what your favorite Wet n Wild, you know, like, trio or palette or quad or whatever color is. Because after using this, I might need to check out more Wet n Wild colors. Um, so let me know what your favorite is down below. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Have a good day. Bye.